sex is sales. If you suck at sales, guess what? Just knock on more doors. Just make more calls. Just make more cold pitches, right? Same thing with dating. Volume trumps all, man. Tex-Mex Barbecue says, what's the best way to move on from injection? Start other women, dude. Start other women. Guys, rejection, do you understand? Like, I, what, I get rejected from women. Like, I, like, take a drink of this water, you know? Just drink some water. I'm like, ah, you know, got a little rejection today. Wow. Is that, uh, is that Zephyr Hills or is that Fiji rejection? Oh, I don't give a shit, you know? If you're worried about being rejection, that tells me that you're just not approaching enough. You gotta, you have to become immune to rejection. Women are the ones that are afraid of rejection. Women are the ones that really can't handle rejection. If you ever reject a woman, watching them lose their, it, quite honestly, it's popcorn worthy. I'm just like, I just want to get a bowl out and start like watching, like, you don't love me. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. Keep, keep, keep this crazy coming, you know, but, um, <clears throat> that's the best way to move on from rejection. Approach more girls, f- more girls. Volume, 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 baby. Sex is sales. If you suck at sales, guess what? Just knock on more doors. Just make more calls. Just make more cold pitches, right? Same thing with dating. Volume trumps all, man. It will help develop the skill. A lot of you guys, you tell me, you know, I did one approach this month. And then like you take that one approach and you like micro dissect every single thing about that approach. And the reality is all that time you did like dissecting that, that one approach, you could have gone approach 10, 15 other women and then you could have got them. You see what I'm saying? Um, he, so he goes on to say, a hot girl starts lying about a boyfriend you know doesn't exist immediately after you, you start talking. Well, you got to look in the mirror and got to be like, you got to ask yourself, am I a fat, disgusting slob? Okay. Do I look ugly? Do I have bad skin? Am I, un- am I not groomed? Like, what's the deal with myself here? Okay, and if and if everything checks out, then listen, dude. Some girls they're just not going to be interested, mate. That's just it is what it is. The different women like different types. Um, I I used to, you know, um, you know, when I wasn't as in best shape, dude. Okay, here, perfect example, right? I was when I was taxi driver in Hawaii, right? I was making some, I was making some good money for a twenty year old kid driving a taxi. I was pulling in ten grand a month, right? This was before Uber, and um, you know, I'm sitting around all day. And I'm just thinking money, 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 money. Get that money, baby. Let's make these, let's, let's make these Benjamins. So, I, uh, one of my clients would like hit me up and, and any, she ended up, uh, we ended up hooking up and having sex, right? And we were sleeping together and she was a regular plate. Super hot Colombian named Tatiana. At the time, I was pretty chubby. I was, uh, I was, you know, cause I was eating food all day and, um, I was driving, right? Cause my top priority was making money, right? So I was like, I'm just, I'm going to forsake the gym for the most part. I'm just going to, you know, get, you know, in, in Hawaii, they always have the steak plates, right? So in Hawaii, anytime you get some food, there's usually served with two scoops of rice or two scoops of potato salad or two scoops of macaroni salad and usually like a Hawaiian roll as well, right? So it's carb city. So I was probably like around 28% bad, 29% body fat, but like Tatiana was in love with me. She's like, "Papi, you're so sexy. I love your body. You're such a real man. You know, all these other people are full of. Shit. You're so strong and confident. And oh my god, Papi, I love you. You know, she would tell me all this, shit. and I was like, I'm a fat motherfucker right now. But she was, I was like, damn, I'm a fat motherfucker with game. Um, <clears throat> so don't take that rejection to heart. Some girls just gonna like you for who you are. Some girls just gonna hate your guts, and and, and for no reason. It's like. I, I am a big fan of uh, chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream. You know what I f- hate? Strawberry ice cream. Strawberry ice cream is disgusting. If I see strawberry ice cream, somebody's like, you want some of this strawberry ice cream? I'm like, listen, you need to go f- yourself because I'm not touching that strawberry ice cream. That's disgusting. I am not some pleb who can eat this strawberry ice cream. I don't like it. I like. I just see it. I'm like, ugh. I'm like, like, like turned off by it, right? That's how some people are about – uh, when, when, that's how some women are when they see you. To some women, you're gonna be strawberry ice cream. They're gonna be like, ugh, get the fuck away from me. Some women, you're gonna be like vanilla ice cream. You're like, fuck yeah, give me that. I'll pay triple, I'll pay double. Sure, you can raw dog me, whatever. Like, I don't give a fuck, right? So you just gotta get in when you fit in. 
okay? Sex is sales, and you got to factor in the fact of marketing, okay? And in marketing 101, you got to know some people are going to like your product. Some people are going to hate your product, right? When a woman is telling you stuff like that, um, you know, <clears throat> it's just don't don't take it too hard. Just go talk to more girls. Uh, the, the reality is Tex-Mex barbecue. All you're telling to me right now is that you're just not talking to enough chicks.